Okay, so I've got a spreadsheet here with sales from different countries. So I've got the countries listed down here. These are all the values in their currencies and it's for three months, so it's one quarter. I'm then getting a total for each of those. And what I want to do here is each of these to be displayed in their currency. And I can easily do that. So I'm going to start off here with UK. I'm based in the UK. And over here, if I go to my drop down box, I'm on the home tab. This works the same way whether you're using Windows or Mac. And I'm going to click on this drop down box. And you're going to see here there's an option for currency. And you can see it's going to display it in pounds sterling. So I'm going to choose that. But what if I want to display USA and Australia there in dollars? France in euros and Japan in yen. Okay, so a couple of ways I could do this. One of them is go to this accounting number format here. Click here, choose more accounting formats. It's not accounting that I really want, it's currency. And then I could choose the symbol here. Now, let me just cancel this because the other way you can do this is just to go to the drop down box and choose more number formats. I didn't change anything. I should have selected the UK, Australia, but I'm on yen here for Japan. Go to currency. Let me just look down this list here for it. And there it is, Japanese. Let's just choose that. You can tell it how many decimal places. Actually, we don't want any decimal places here. Let's click on OK and let's go and fix it here as well. You've probably seen some of my other tutorials or you might know that there's this button here for decrease decimal because these are all whole numbers. For Australia and the United States, let's just choose both of those. Let's just have a look here on the accounting one and you'll see it's actually got English United States. Actually, the dollar sign for Australia is the same, but let's choose it. And you'll see for currency, let me just get rid of those. It's actually putting the dollar signs left aligned and the same would have happened if I would have done accounting for the pound sign here as well. Let's just go to my more number formats. We can fix that by going to currency now. It's remembered that I chose the dollar sign. You can see it's got the dollar sign for Australia and for a whole lot of other places. Any of these will work. Let's click OK. Now for France, Let's just do that last one. Let's click there and I'm going to choose from here the more number formats again, currency, and we are going to choose here the euro, wherever the euro is. Let's choose the French one anyway. So there we go. And let's just get rid of the decimal places again. And there you have it and it's put the euro sign at the end. So it formats it the way it should be as if it was in that country. Now, I just want to show you something here because if you were to actually type in, say, 1000, it's automatically put the pound sign in, it's put the comma in there. It's going to remember that formatting because if I change it to 2000, it's done it here. So that's just a quick tip for being able to type in the currency if you have it on your keyboard anyway, as I do with the pound sign here. You might be wondering why I haven't done it for all of these numbers. And that's because it probably look a little bit messy with all of those on there. Let's just actually choose a currency. Let's make them all pounds just for speed. And you can see it doesn't look very good there. I do also have some other videos. I did one just recently on how you can format percentages and you can check that out. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope this was useful and do come back for more.